Hello, fellow people of the earth, I am Dairy50 from Mooncraft Productions. Excuse me. And today we're going to be doing Dragon Slayer. I think this is episode 20 um, of our old school RuneScape Let's Play. Um, but we're going to be doing the uh, we're going to be doing the Dragon Slayer quest. Want to finish off all these free quests? Uh, so yeah, we need to uh, to enter the Champions Guild. Need 32 quest points. Uh, you need to be able to defeat a level 83 dragon, which yeah, should be easy uh, with food and stuff. Um, but what the items we'll need before we even get started with the quest is we will need around 12k uh, coins. Right now I'm just I have uh, 42,000 because you'll you'll see in a second. Uh, you need a hammer um, and a lobster pot, which you can get from uh, the fishing shop in Catherby if you don't have one. Um, then you need three planks. Um, which you can get by going here with uh, w normal wood. And then you need a piece of silk, which I got from uh, Ardening, Ardigen, the stalls at Ardigen. Um And you need 90 steel nails, which is the reason I'm here, and you need 90 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so yeah, 90 steel, steel nails. Um, you need an un and you'll need an a wizard mind bomb. Hold on, sorry. So uh, I'm going. Sorry if you heard that beeping noise. Uh, let's go to Falador. Let's gonna get this. Let's get this. Let's get this uh, wizard mind bomb. So I'm gonna go in this uh, place here. I'm gonna talk to. Uh, I'll try the mind bomb, and she'll give you a wizard mind bomb. Just in case you drink it. Let's go ahead and get two of them. So I'm just gonna put those down there just in case I, just so I don't drink them. Um, so yeah, and then we need an unfired bowl. So making an unfired bowl, to 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 make an unfired bowl, um, we just need a piece of clay. I see if I have any in my bank. I do. Yeah, you need soft clay. So I'm gonna take one soft clay. If you don't have one, you can mine some clay at the Varrock mines and then use it on some water, and then you get some soft clay. So, uh, we need to bring this to a potter's wheel. The closest one is going to be in uh. The Barbarian Village, they have a potter's wheel there, and uh, you need at least eight crafting to make one. So, if you don't have eight crafting, you can ask one of your friends to do it, um, or to easily get uh, eight crafting, spin some wool. Uh, just get some wool from uh, Lumbridge and spin it. That's just the easiest, probably, just to get eight crafting. And, uh, yeah, hold on, I'm just going to turn off my Skype so you don't have you know, those annoying notifications. So, I just did that, alright. But yeah, go ahead and work your way to the Barbarian Outpost uh, to get an unfired bowl. And don't fire it, obviously. You just make the bowl on the potter's wheel. So you go in this little hut in the Barbarian Village. <laughs> Yarg! And uh, in here, there should be some potter's wheel. And you want to use this on the potter's wheel. And you want to make a bowl. And do not use it on the pottery oven. It should be unfired. So just keep it like that, unfired. Um, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, go to Varrock. And go south to the champion's guide. Once again, the requirements, uh, I don't want to stretch this because I don't need to w waste your time getting all those items and then not being able to do the quest, but you need to uh, have 32 quest points uh, or more. I have 60, so I'm good on that. And you also need to be able to defeat a level 83 dragon and that is, uh, that sh you should have, I mean these stats are more than what you need, but uh, I think I did this back in 2007 when I was in the like, level Right, it was pretty much right when I got 40 defense, so I'd, I barely even had a rune chain body. I, I just had a rune plate body a lot, but I do remember dying quite a lot uh, when I did it, and I was like level 20 or something. So yeah, <laughs> that's why I waited so long. I just I just wanted to, and I had I didn't I couldn't even afford rune anyway, so it didn't matter too much. But now I can, so yeah. Anyway, I want to go through the store here, and then uh, talk to the guildmaster and ask for a quest. No. Right. So now you should have started Dragon Slayer, and uh, it says you should speak to Oziak. Now, um, Oziak is in Edgeville. I currently, I don't have uh, Michael Ori doesn't have any charges left, so I'm gonna have to walk there. Um, one nice route I'd like to take is if you have, um, how much agility is it? It is like uh, shortcuts. Varrock agility shortcut level 21. Um, uh, I I would get that because it makes walking around a lot easier and it gives easy access to a um, to a spirit tree along with a um, a fairy ring. Because if you go right back here, uh, there is a underground wall thing, underground tunnel, 
If you go, if you climb through that, you do need level 21 agility once again. Um, once you go through here, right up on this hill, there's a spirit tree. See that? Oh, my game's oh, just didn't click it. Okay. So there's a spirit tree right here, and then you also have a um, fairy ring should be here somewhere. I think you have to go but down here, actually. Is Edgeville over here? <laughs> I thought Edgeville was over here. I guess you have to go, yeah, you have to go all the way over here. Uh, but the fairy ring is up there, trust me. Yeah, there it is, right there. There's the fairy ring. And then Edgeville's right over here. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of confused because I played so much with the Grand Exchange, because this is in, in the New Scroll RuneScape. This is, of course, where the big Grand Exchange area is, so... Yeah. But, uh, anyway, then let's go over here. And Oziak is right, right uh, over the other side of this town. Uh, as you can see, there's probably a big PK party going on here. Fatality! It's actually a big clan. They're all here, I guess. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> going past that. Um, over here, there should be a little hut, and Oziak is inside that hut. Make sure not to accidentally harass the wilderness ditch while you're at this. I go through here and talk to Oziak. Think what are you supposed to say? Yeah, yeah, that's what you're supposed to say. He's always yeah. Slay the dragon of Grandor. Should be called reckless event here, no we like going on the face. Yeah. Yeah. So uh and then go back to the Guildmaster, same way, and get the, I think it's a, some sort of maze key or something. Alright, so go ahead and talk to the Guildmaster, and say, the Dragon of Kandor. Sorry. Uh, no, no. Um. Where Mozart's map piece is, and I'll give you a key. Let's go through all these things. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and teleport to Lumbridge once you have the maze key and you've gone through all the things. Um or get to Lumbridge some way, you can also just use the level one teleport. It's kind of, it must be annoying for you if you don't have this magic level, but um the reason I only got up to level forty five was just because I just so I could teleport uh, to these places. Let's talk to Duke Horacio. Um uh, right here. And ask for a shield that will protect you from dragon breath. Alright, there you go. And you have the shield. Um, now, what you want to do is just go upstairs quickly. Uh, and oh, right over here, let's just get some food because this next guy is going to be a bit. Uh, a bit interesting. So let's just get like, I don't know, a couple pieces of food. Um, that should be more than enough. Hopefully. Teleport runes if you want to get out of there. And I'm actually going to take my uh, Excalibur. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to teleport to my house because it's in Remington. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to get to Remington with the maze key. Uh, somehow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the portal. I'm just going to go through my home portal here. And Melzar's maze, I'm pretty sure it's, no, it's not over here. It's, um, right back here. Yep. Alright, so, uh, you want to open the door, uh, with the, I think this is where you use the key. Yep, the door opens. Uh, zombie rats, that's interesting. Um, now I'm not entirely sure, um, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to kill giant rats in this room until one of them drops a key. Which is with the key that we need, so... Oh. It's gonna kill the uh, big ones. I don't know if it matters, though. And one of them will eventually drop a key. I'll just pause until one does. Alright, so I actually killed one of the little ones and it gave me a key. I, I think I need them to work, though. Um, so now you want to go ahead and open the red door in the north. Not this one, but the one in the n uh, north west corner right up here. And then just climb up this ladder. So now what you want to do is you want to kill some ghosts until you get... And these ghosts are a bit more powerful. Uh, but you want to kill the ghosts until you get a uh, yellow key, I believe. No, orange key. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. Alright, so killed enough to get the key. So now you have a orange key. And what you want to do is you want to use this on uh, the door the second from the north on the east wall. So this is the east wall, and this one is the one second from the north. So we'll use it on that. And then we'll climb up this ladder. Alright, so as you can see, it's getting more harder. Um, so now you want to kill skeletons until you get a yellow key. Alright, now use this yellow key to open the door in the southwest, right here. Go all the way through here, and you want to go up, um, and you should enter a room that's full of zombies, and then we have to kill them until they drop a blue key. Um, so yeah, uh, down here I think, yeah. Maybe, oh, oh, is it not? No, it's it's not, isn't it? I probably gave it the wrong directions. Or did I not? I uh, maybe no. You go down here. Okay. I was, I was worried there for a second. Yeah, the zombies are down here. I just can't go up back up there. Just want to kill these zombies. Alright, so I got the blue key. I want to open the blue door. And Melzar the Mad will appear. Now this guy isn't even the hard part. You want to kill him quick, but he's not the hard part. Let me drink my tea and peace. Feel the wrath of my feet, yes. I do not want to feel the wrath of Oh, cabbage. Oh no, cabbage. By the power of custard. <laughs> okay. Okay, Melzar, you're obviously very mad. You're obviously pretty freaking mad. Uh, so I'm gonna kill him. Gotta pick up his, his cabbage and eat the cabbage. Because he's cabbage. Uh, and now, here's the high, hardest battle. I wanna pick up this pink key. I have to defeat this level 82 lesser demon, and that guy's gonna be fairly hard. Uh, I'm going to activate the Excalibur special attack for defense. And now I wanna go through here and defeat the lesser demon. We do have to defeat this guy though. And it will be fairly hard to do that. Oh, okay. Hit points. <laughs> this is why you need a high uh, level. Higher level. I remember I died many times as lesser demon back in uh, 2007. And I hope I have enough food for this. You don't need a, of course you don't need an anti-dragon shield for this guy, he's only a demon. Actually, the actual Elvar guy is easier than the Slasher Demon too, which is a weird thing. But yeah, uh, let's be careful while flying this guy, I'm gonna pause like so though. So, looks like he's dead. I want to pick up this key, and I believe you just go through this door, right? Um, uh, Alright, now you want to open this chest, and search it to get a map piece, and now we've gotten the Melzar map piece. You want to go up the ladder. 
and uh, through this door and outside and now we have the first map piece alright so now I'm going to teleport to Falador because you have to go to Ice Mountain uh, make sure you have your silk uh, you have your wizard's mind bomb uh, you have your lobster pot and you have your unfired bowl with you um, and now we want to go north and we want to go to the Ice Mountain if you know where Ice Mountain is uh, it's pretty much right up here uh, you exit Falador you go through this northeastern path and uh, then you have to go to the right, st sorry, the uh, the eastern side of Ice Mountain from from uh, for looking at it this way. Uh, that's where the entrance is, and uh, I'll just get there and then I'll continue. All right, so the entrance is right here. You want to go up here, and then in order to get on Ice Mountain, uh, you just walk right up here um, through this seemingly unscalable mountain. is pretty easy to walk on in RuneScape, <laughs> physically looking un uh, unstable, but. Just like, I don't care. So you want to talk to Oracle, and you want to talk about a uh, piece of map, and she'll tell you some weird stuff. Um, now you want to do, uh, <laughs> we just went through, yep, uh, she'll just tell you some stuff. It uh, doesn't matter though, because we know what to do. Um, you want to head to the Dwarven Mines. Um, Dwarven Mines are on the uh, s southern side of the mountain. Um, so I'm just gonna get there. Alright, so I'm here now. You just wanna go down this trap door. And then we are right here. We wanna go. I believe you wanna go over here. If I remember correctly. Uh, through this room. And then right over to the northeast. And then we come to this other room. This is the room that requires the items. So you wanna open the magic door. Uh, wait. Maybe you don't open it. Um. We need a wizard's mind bomb, lobster pot, unfired bull, and silk, which we have, don't we? So how do you open the door? Hold on. Alright, so we have to use the items on the magic door. So we use the lobster pot, use the unfired bowl, and use the silk. Now we can open the magic door. Open the chest. And you get the next math, math, math piece. Alright, now if you have the ma that magic level required for this part, uh, bring some uh, range stuff and tell them that kind of grab runes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport to Falador because that's the closest area to the place we're going. Uh, I just, oh, magic level. Interesting. Uh, now I'm gonna go up here. I think I just, I'm able to do... Yeah, I'm just gonna use... Just get some death runes. Or something. Uh, so... I'm just go to the bank, get some range stuff. That or you can, uh, as long, if you don't have tell them that I kind of grab that and bring 10k. Uh, so... I'm just gonna bring, like... 12k or something. I don't think I'll need it though. Um, then, like, 26 death runes. And my air staff. Where's my air staff? Start down here. Alright, so now let's go ahead and go to uh, Port Sarim. As, as you can see, I'm right here at Port Sarim, and uh, this is where the magic shop is. Now you want to go uh, all the way south until you get to, like, a jail type area. Um, which is, I believe. No, it's the building after. No, it's, it's not. It's still keep going to south. Because uh, then you have the. You have a restaurant, and then the building after this one should be the jailhouse. And when you get into the jailhouse, uh, you'll see Worm Brain there. And uh, you can either. If you don't have the magic level of uh, 33, you can talk to Worm Brain uh, and barter with him 10k for his map piece. Uh, if you do have this magic level, you can simply kill him. Hi, Worm Brain. And then use that on that part. Now we have that map part. 
Alright, now you want to do is you want to use the map pieces together, and you'll get a, a Crandor map. Uh, Alright, now let's go to... Um, right now we're on the port, so we might as well do this now. Uh, but right in front of the restaurant, we want to go down here, and uh, there should be a guy there. Not the squire, but uh, Clarice. Clarence. Clarence. <laughs> um, I'd like to buy here. Um... Yep, sounds good. So now you have your own ship. So you want to board your ship, climb down the ladder, um, and you have to repair these holes with some nails. And you need like three planks in order to repair this hole. And there we're good. So now we have our ship ready, but we're not going to exactly set sail yet, because we do need a few more things. Um, so now what I want to do is going to work our way to Draenor Village. I'm just going to get there quickly. <coughs> Alright, so uh, we're going to go over here to a house. Uh, I think it's right here. This is the house. I want to talk to a guy named Ned in there. He's going to be your little ship captain partner type thing. Uh, Ned's right in here. Alright, so Ned will meet you at the ship. Um, but what we need to do is we need to prepare for killing the dragon. So if you just run back over, I'm actually just going to, you know what, just tell what to follow to prepare. Uh, I'll tell you what the kind of stuff you'll need. So just equip your anti dragon shield now. Uh, put your anything any other shield you have just in the bank. Uh, it's not it's not worth even taking because you'll be using that the whole time. Uh, it's good to have a combat level of around this area, maybe 40 to 50. Um, something like that. Uh, let's just put all this stuff in the bank. Uh, I'm gonna take that out. Um, I'm gonna take, as long, uh, just in case I have problems, I'm gonna take that as a teleport uh, device. Um, what else should I take? By the way, I got a bunch of herbs ready for herb herbal type stuff. I'm gonna be getting some more too. Uh, I want that. That. Uh, I'll just take a little. Uh, I mean to wear. Glory's fine. Um, this is just a normal emerald amulet. Uh, just in case that teleportation device doesn't work. Um, boots. I have boots of lightness. Gloves. I guess it doesn't. I don't really have any good gloves, do I? Let's take some regular old leather gloves. Um, and now, it's gonna fill up the whole inventory uh, with some stuff. That's good. I'm gonna go to Port Rim again the Lady Lumbridge. This is going to be a fairly long episode, but I would like to fit this all into one episode, since if it was two episodes, I'd, I'd end up having one that's like 15 minutes, the other one like 4 minutes. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, so, get back on the port, uh, and go back to the Lady Lumbridge. Alright, so, go ahead and cross. I believe all you have to do is just um, talk to Ned. And this is where a little interesting cutscene appears. <coughs> and before you reach Crandor, there should be a... Ah, it's good to feel the salt spray on my face once again. Some amazing RuneScape cutscenes right here. And this mighty fine ship, she don't look, look much, but she handles like a tree. How much longer until we reach Crandor? Not long now, according to the chart, we we'd be able to see Crandor if it wasn't for those clouds on the horizon. Clouds around the ship. Looks like there's a storm coming, Captain. Soon we won't be able to see anything, says Captain Moore Jenkins. Oh well, the weather had been so good up until now. Did you see that? Yeah, that would be Elvark. See what? I saw, I thought I saw something out above us. Oh no! It's the dragon! No shit, Sherlock! Oh, oh, oh god. Captain Boy Jenkins! Captain Boy Jenkins! Captain Boy Jenkins! Oh no, Captain Boy Jenkins! What would the dog to the dragon? Oh, Captain Boy I'll follow this quest. It's for you, Captain Boy Jenkins. We're going to crash. Crash. You are knocked unconscious and later awake on an ash strewn beach. No damage. Where's Ned? 
Ned. 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 God, Ned, where are you? Oh, scare me like this, Ned. 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 Oh. Hi, Ned. Hi, hi, Ned. All right. Well, anyway, we're on Crandor, so um, now what we want to do is we want to go. Actually, we want to go down. No, we want to. No, we want to go over here. <laughs> so, you want to go over here. Want to go. Uh, first of all, go west. Then you want to go north. Um, so I am going the wrong way because I can't go past here. Can I? Oh, it's Mithril. Oh no. I think I can. Supposed to be able to go over here. Well, the quest card I'm <laughs> I am looking at so it says that you can go over there, but apparently you can't. You have to take the long way. So go all the way over here. And you want to go all the way around um, until you see a crack in the middle here, so you can walk up there. Unless you can just walk up here, which you can. So this is even okay. <laughs> I didn't even understand what this guy, the, the map on this guy, there's like this really weird way to get up there, I mean, I guess, it's not, I guess maybe they wanted you to get away from this monster, I don't know, it's weird though, um, so now, you're gonna enter the volcano right up there, oh, oh, there's also a lesser demon right up here, uh, I'm glad the hobgoblin attacked me before the lesser demon did, so enter the hole, once again, make sure you do have your anti-dragon shield, otherwise you are dead already, so once you're in here, Oh, hi there, little Elvarg. How's it going, bro? Uh, so go over here. Now I'm going to quickly activate Excalibur. Um, hold on, let's make sure I'm on Slash. Um, so let's get over to where this wall is and activate Excalibur or any other potions you have. Turn on, like, ultimate strength. I don't have any prayer, though, so it's not going to help too much at all. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, you do a little dance. A little dance. It's gonna eat a bit. The cake's not good much, but... Tango with a dragon. It'll actually stop you from being hit so often by it. Uh, especially if you have a slower weapon, because you can recharge the weapon and then quickly attack like that. And then do a little tango. Like right then I didn't even get hit by it. I used to be really good at it. I don't think I am anymore. Um. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, uh, I want to make sure this dragon doesn't kill me when I finish this quest. I don't think I brought... If I want to bring lobsters, uh, especially if you're level, um, I'm pretty stupid, actually. I think, wow, can I, like, hit at all, possibly? Is it, like, actually possible for me to hit? Wow, I'm going to have to go do this again, aren't I? This, yeah. It's just so sad. Um, maybe, possibly. May be able to defeat this dragon. Um, I'm not gonna pause though because this is like a boss battle pretty much. Um, doesn't seem to be using fire attack. Oh, never mind. It spoke too soon. God damn it! Can I? I haven't hit for like ever. There we go. Finally. God, if, if I hit, it'd be easier. One more hit. So I killed Elvar. Oh, okay. I guess that's a trophy. 
Okay. <laughs> why not? Uh, why not just take that? All right. So you will cut off the dragon's head. You'll have to find your way. So now I have to go to Oziak. Um, so I'm just gonna teleport here and then work my way to Oziak again. All right. So now I'll talk to Oziak right in here. And then you can play the quest. So yeah, just at my honorary picture at the quest completion. And save that. Sorry, hold on. Alright. Now, uh, you will get a lot of defense and strength for that. I got 47 defense now and uh, 48 strength. I'm now level 56. Uh, so yeah, you get decent, uh, decent strength, decent defense. If you're a one defense peer, of course, you do not want to do this quest. It's a very bad idea uh, because then you will get quite a lot of defense. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, finished that quest. Probably uh, one of the hardest quests we've done. Uh, I'm just gonna take like, don't know how much he sells room plate bodies for. Um, I'm gonna check that it's uh, on Zybez that it's not as, it's it's either less or more expensive. Uh, I can get one on Zybez for around 45k, 47. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. 47k, but uh, Oziak, see how much he sells them for. 84k. No, okay, I'll get one from uh, Zybez then. Anyway, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.